Okay. <clears throat> so I got a couple of new things. Apologize for the volume. I don't know where my mic is. So these have been safety checked. Let me take my watch off. But I picked up a <clears throat> 642 Smith & Wesson. Uh, it's the enclosed hammer. Uh, some guy I knew was hurting for money. So I got this and a box of hollow point Hornady ammo and two speed loaders for 400 bucks. He bought a new car. <laughs> so it's a really strong trigger. And then <clears throat> I really wanted an LCR and I couldn't find one. And then, of course, two days after I got that, I found one. And it came with a holster. And I figured, he said it came with a holster. I thought it was leather. I pulled the side off already. I ordered a new one, the high vis And again, safety checked. Um... He didn't come with, his one didn't come with a box. I was kind of annoyed. I didn't know it didn't come with a box. But it came with this holster, and I was really iffy when I saw it. But it's actually a pretty decent holster. I've seen these online, and I didn't know if I would like one. But, um, yeah, it's nicer than I expected. So I'm going to try this on camera. I didn't try it yet. I don't know if the 642 will work. Probably will. No, it will not work. So... Yeah, I guess it's brand specific. I thought it would be close enough, but nope. So <clears throat> I ordered the high vis front sight. I'm going to keep the speed loaders, strip loaders, or the black strips. I didn't want to have ammo up here, so I didn't bring them. And uh, so I got the green front. These things just feel so right in your hand, and the trigger is like a pound lighter, if not more. And I'll, I'm going to start carrying this probably a lot this summer. <clears throat> I just love these. They're just, they're, I think they look okay. A lot of people say they look ugly. I might invest in some laser grips since you only have five shots. You want to know where they're going. Uh, but they're, that's a couple hundred bucks. But I got this one for 450 with this holster. Nothing else, no box, no speed loaders, no nothing. But I mean, you're talking 500 plus, Plus tax anywhere in a store. I'm sorry, the trigger is just so light. Well, not light, but at least way easier than this one. So this one's going to go up for sale. I only bought it because I thought it was such a great deal. Um, and uh, But I don't want to keep it. I don't like the trigger. I really don't like not having a, a front sight. But it came with ammo, so that's a plus. <clears throat> it does look good, and they I think they look fantastic when they get some wear on them. But I just don't think the wear is going to come from me. Uh, so I actually listed it for sale like an hour ago. And uh, so it's going to hopefully leave soon. I've got the box for it. But this one, this one's a keeper. I put the high vis sight on it and I'm looking for some ammo that's out of stock and I'll probably never find it the Ruger ARX penetrator ammo or is it called inter it's Ruger ARX ammo interceptor Ruger ARX interceptor ammo it's 77 grain and I had my old one and I could put those through the same hole at 15 feet <clears throat> so I'm trying to find that again I know it's good ammo. I just got to find it. And uh, that'll be what I save for carry. So anyway, I just wanted to make a video. I do have an XDS coming that I bought on Gunbroker. Uh, I want it for 255 bucks, And I have a LCP Custom that I won for $179, I want to say, or 174 something like that. Um, cause I have an LCP one and I don't like the trigger. The customs are better. So I'm going to, once I get that, I'll put my laser max on it and switch them over. So I'll make a video of that. I think I get them Friday to my FFL. So, but anyway, LCR, if you get one, you're going to love it. Just try to find a good deal. They're definitely light, comfortable, great trigger. I, I kind of wished I would have found the 357. 
because it's a little heavier and it makes the 38 feel better, but it's not that much more. Should I say much less recoil? But I don't think the 357 would outlast the 38. I think they're going to be just as fine, equally fine. So I do like the shiny, but I think this is going to be more easy to conceal because you won't see the shiny, the, the stainless finish. Aluminum, not stainless, um, but this is my go-to now. It'll be hard to give up my 365 XL. But anyway, $800 worth of gun. These are like 500 bucks everywhere. I think I'm enlisted for 380. So anyway, hope you all have a good night. And uh, why? The, hmm. And I will talk to you later.